Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Elliot, and I understand that I haven't done a line dance video blog in a while, and it's because it's been a number of reasons. I've been a little bit busy uh, with work and with just doing different things with different people, and um, I've obtained a lot of different topics that I could go into, and I'm kind of just going to mash them all into this one topic. Because they're all like, as I was talking through them to myself, um, throughout the, you know, from my last video blog to this one, um, they all kind of mat mesh together. And uh, what's ironic is today is a, a Christmas, day after Christmas, uh, the 26th. And uh, I find myself with a lot of time right now. And um, it, uh, I just thought that this was also perfect for that. Um, I hope all of your Christmas Christmases was well. I don't even know how to say that. Um, uh, this is going to be a long one, uh, and I'm just going to rant a lot. So if you want to put me on the background of whatever you're doing, you can do that. Uh, because I'm just going to talk, and I don't necessarily think I'm going to edit videos into this so you don't have to like watch for anything. Um, so you can just use this as a podcast or something. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope all of your Christmases was we went well. Um, I spent Christmas with my friend Sarah that I met at the ranch, uh, and Sarah's always been like one of the most amazing friends to me, and she actually uh, allowed me to spend Christmas with her and her family. So this video blog is about community, and I think a lot of people that go to bars don't really expect to, to meet friends. Um, when you, I mean, like, when you first go to a bar, I don't think you're really expecting to go to a bar and meet people that you're going to spend, you know, like, a lot of time with or whatnot. Line dancing is much more than just dancing. It's much more than just learning how to line dance. It's much more than learning how to two-step. It's much more than drinking at a bar. To a lot of people, I think, once you start doing it a lot, it's... The, the reason why a lot of people go back to line dancing and to, to just going to bars like 24-7 all the time, it's not to keep learning. It's because of community and the idea of community and the idea that you have like a lot of, you have a group of individuals that come from different backgrounds and different histories and, you know, like they're in different places in their life and yet you all share some common interest. And that's really hard to find. I feel like when you go to school, you would think that that would build community, but it really doesn't. Um, I, or at least my experience of going to school. Um, you go to class and then you kind of just leave because you have different schedules with everybody. I mean, like everybody has different schedules. And so you just kind of leave and you know, you don't even really have that class as a common interest. You kind of just do your own work and then you, that's how you, you move on um, because it's all individual. And I think that with country barring um, and the idea that you all go to the same place basically on the same days and at the same times, um, learning the same dances and, you know, like interacting with di the same people who also then bring other people um, because, you know, they're interested in it. And all of a sudden then you're meeting other people through the people that you know. Um, you're building this idea of community. And to a lot of people, a lot of my friends, it becomes family. It becomes more family than your own family sometimes. Um, some of my friends do, uh, they, they have like Thanksgiving with their second family, which is their dance family. And I don't know, it's just really interesting to me that I could have found this person uh, who just randomly decided to ask me to two-step and all of a sudden I'm in Riverside spending Christmas with her and her family. Um, when I went to Montana's a long time ago, I met this couple um, named Josh and Amanda, and they invited me to Thanksgiving, and I spent Thanksgiving with them. Um, I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been able to hang out with people, like, just as normal people outside of a country bar. Um, 
And that's what, that's what makes me go back. And it's that idea that I have something there, that I have people that I know that become, that, that go from like strangers to, to like being called family to me. One of my secondary blog topics uh, was the idea that my, my friend Kalea wanted me to talk about the difference between being a party girl and being a dancer. And she, because she goes out to bars a lot to dance and, and she's a dancer. Um, but a lot of her friends think that she's just a party girl that likes to party and drink all the time. And there's a very specific difference between that. And I, I think that there's a very specific difference. And I'm not saying either one is bad. Um, you, you'll actually probably fluctuate between being both. Um, the idea of being a dancer at a country bar. Uh, that's like, go, that, what, what you're basically doing is you go into a bar and you know all the dances that you know, like that you know, and every dance that you don't know, you're, you're like intently watching, you're not talking to anybody, you're intently watching somebody on the dance floor that knows the dance so that you can pick it up. You're counting um, and you're like, what's it called? You're, you're just very focused on a lot of different things um, that all stem from, I want to learn more and I want to do more so that I can do everything. And I feel like that's what a dancer is. They're not necessarily there to make friends. If, I mean, if it happens, then it happens, but it's not like they're there to socialize. So a lot of the time, um, when you go up to people that are very intent on, you know, like just learning things, they might come off a little standoffish. And that's just, and that's not like any, to any fault of their own. Um, they're just not really looking for that. They're not looking for like community, like I was talking about. A lot of the people that I meet at bars, um, they're not they're not going to bars because they need friends. They are, they're going to bars um, or they're going to country bars because they have a skill and they and they're dancers and they want to like be able to express their ability to dance. Um, in some cases, uh, I know a lot of people who just use it as exercise. Uh, that it's not even really. Like, it's not about talking to people. It's about knowing, like, knowing dances so that you can use it as exercise. Like, going to the gym. Like, you, like you're not trying to socialize at the gym. You're just kind of, like, there. You do your, your thing that you're good at, and then you leave, and it's fine with you. Um, and that's what, I, I feel like that's what being a dancer is. Like, a, being a true, you know, like, on that super end of the spectrum kind of way. That's what a dancer is. A party person is like the, it's the complete opposite of that. It's the person that hangs more at the bar. It's the person that tries to talk to everybody. It's the person that they know like four dances and that's somehow, fi not somehow, I'm, I'm now marking myself as a dancer. <laughs> they, they, um, they know four dances and that's fine with them. Um, they know, uh, you know, they know the wobble, they know the electric slide, they know power jam, and they're, and, you know, like they, and they know Copperhead Road, and they're good. They're like, you know, like these are the, and they know good time, five dances, I'm gonna give them five dances. They know five dances, and they're good, because those are the dances that have the most people, those are the dances where they can socialize with the most people. Sorry about that. Um, those are the dances that they're comfortable with, and they do them well or they don't do them well, it really doesn't matter to them. Um, and, uh, and those are the abilities, or those are the dances that give you the best chance at socializing with more people. Because they want community. Uh, because they want to build friends, and because they want to maybe date somebody. I should probably be doing that instead. <laughs> um, <laughs> the truth comes out. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, um, you know, like that's, that's why they're there. They're there not to learn kick and dust and high class. They're there to, you know, like be good at the seven things that they know. Oh, look, they're getting, they're getting, they're getting better. <laughs> um, and they're there to build community and, and, um, 
see, the, the, the thing that I'm saying is that those are the two opposite ends of the spectrum. Obviously, there's crossover, and there has to be crossover. Sometimes you'll go from one to the other, or from the other to the, um, to the other, and, um, and that's just how life works. Your interests change, uh, you change as a person, and, and it's fine. Maybe, like, the person that just wants to socialize actually wants to get better. Maybe they start to realize that they're really not that great. Um, and, you know, like, all of their friends are starting to learn other dances and they don't know them yet. And so then they feel left out. So then all of a sudden they start moving on to other dances and they start becoming better. And they start, you know, like, doing more things and focusing more. And then all of a sudden they're, like, they're a dancer. Whereas, because I can take this from personal experience, whereas a dancer who's, like, overly focused on the guy that, it, that knows the dance as opposed to the booty-shaking girl that's dancing right next, right next to him, all of a sudden you start to feel like a stuck-up bitch <laughs> um, that just, you know, like, is just there to count dances and to be specific. And all of a sudden you're not, you're not even having fun anymore. Um, you're not, like, allowing yourself to mess up. You're not allowing yourself... Um, to, to drink and let loose and have fun, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, and so all of a sudden, you, you find yourself as a dancer where you're, you're locked into this corner where you don't really associate and you don't really talk to friends um, because you don't try to, but then it gets lonely. And so then you, you're like, you know what? I gotta go do good time with Sarah because I just feel like being stupid right now. Um, and silly, and I want to two-step with somebody bad because they're more fun than people who are, like, stuck up and, like, who are on counts and on beats and on, you know, like, things. Um, what's it called? Like, I, you know, like, whenever I'm doing a line dance and I miss a restart, I, like, beat myself up. And other people are having, are adding, like, the Bernie and, you know, like, um, what's it called? Like the, uh, the sprinkler. And I'm over here like, oh my God, I fucked up this restart. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so you start to like transfer back and you start becoming like a fun person. Um, so I don't think any, either is inherently bad. I think there are just the two people and whether or not you want to be one or the other, it's fine because I think there are obviously pros and cons to both. And I think it just really comes down to the idea of community and what you want from your country bar experience. If you want to just be left alone and you want to just be, you know, the lone wolf who just learns every dance. And if you want to just be the person that, you know, like just don't talk to me, I want to focus on everything, or you want to be the person at the bar that's talking to everybody. Um, they're not inherently bad, and just, I, I just hope that you can see the difference now, and that you don't judge people based on whatever they are. Because at some point, you'll find yourself wanting to be the other, the other person.